Why you think men cheat? It's just a, a, a natural occurrence. They need attention. Uh, it's innate in some men. Selfishness. They're bored. Honestly, this is probably gonna sound bad, but I kind of think it's kind of in some men's DNA. Ah, uh, you know that's not a good reason. <laughs> they're dumb. I think that there is some unhappiness in the relationship. Their spouse is not giving them what they want at home. What is the number one reason why you think men cheat? Uh, not communicate very well with. The partner. The lack of intimacy. They're not getting what they want at home. And to be specific. <laughs> not fulfilling the sexual needs that you feel that uh, you deserve. Some people just can't control what they do. But sometimes we act on impulse. Okay, the communication is the, the most important thing. Their own insecurities. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Probably because they're not getting the attention they think they should get in the relationship. The, some men just like... Um, a variety of women, so <laughs> ain't giving up the booty. All right, the number one reason why you think women cheat? Feelings. Their feelings? There's a lot of guys that cheated on girls and then the girls got played and now they, I guess some girls want to play the game too. They're bored. <laughs> Probably because they're men cheating. That woman has some insecurity. Women like eye candy. <laughs> I haven't heard any statistics that to say that women do cheat. Nobody wants to be with a broke um, man. <laughs> Dissatisfaction, I guess. <laughs> Probably, I think, just unhappiness. Their partner's not very talkative, community. Because it's in their nature. A lot of women don't cheat. Not that I know. Sex is a big thing for them. You know, they need more than one. If just he's not home taking care of her emotional needs, she may seek it somewhere else. But the man doesn't give her attention. I think with women it's probably a little different. I think if they're in a relationship and it gets kind of stale, mm -hmm. I think that's when they start to kind of look the other way. I think with women it's more of, more of an emotional thing. Most women, they, they just can't be held down to one man. Now females, when they feel like their significant other is not there for them, hey, a lot of females just go ahead and step out. I think it's attention as well. reason you think that people who are cheated on stay in those relationships because you're comfortable maybe you feel like you know nobody else is gonna love you they're retarded because they hope that it will change a lot of them um uh don't have securities in themselves familiarity mm -hmm. low confidence because you love the man so they just stay what they know they're comfortable there i feel that they feel that they can't get anyone else women who have sense and have self-esteem usually know how to move forward in love with that person and they're scared they can't find somebody else. That's not a good look. Confidence issues. You could be brainwashed. Insecurity. No protection. Um, inside that relationship, they don't want to explore anything else because they're afraid. Uh, this usually self-esteem related. For the benefit of their children. Fear. So they, they, they don't know anything any different. Love. People that cheat have a way about them that they know how to work their their partner it's a self-esteem issue could be kids kids involved okay. financial because maybe you have some insecurity i don't agree with that neither do i what is the number one red flag or sign that you are being cheated on there is a sign. You can't get people sneaky nowadays. <laughs> the texting and hiding in the phone. So staying out late, hanging out with the boys. Uh, Constant lies. How do you detect those lies? Um, when you change your behavior, your actions. That phone. Your cell phone is the is the truth. We're changing in uh, clothing. Person leaves the room when they're getting a call. I mean, staying out all night. Nearly something simple as communication, diminished communication. That person's lack of interest in the other person. Changing um, time, they come, leave. Whenever you know, you just know. 
that, <laughs> if the phone's with them all the time, yes. you got a problem. Okay. Change, change an attitude, everything changes. Who just automatically completely change. Your cell phone, if it's always turned off or on silent when you're around me. Hiding, not answering the phone, mm -hmm. hiding your phone. When they try to put you on a set schedule. It depends on the partner's sexual appetite. If sometimes they come and they, first they're real high strung and they want to have sex all the time and then they don't want to have sex and oh no, they're too tired. Whenever you notice that things are not the way that they used to be. Reduction in calls or texts is probably, or picking up the phone really. The lack of communication. When you have those missed dates, those missed phone calls and working late hours. He will not give you the passwords to his Facebook account, his Twitter <laughs> account. He keeps his phone on silent all the time. You Whenever I ask you questions and you can't answer them. to get a definitive answer to a question that would help you better understand women, what would that question be? Why? Why do you do all that crazy stuff? Do you like me? Okay. Do you like me? Um, is uh, what you really want, you know? Do I make you happy? <laughs> What's the number one thing you need from me? What makes you happy? Well, that is, that is an awesome question. I guess, what do you want? Repeat that question again. <laughs> If you had the opportunity to get a definitive answer to one question that would help you better understand men, what would that question be? Why can't men just talk? Why are men, why can men can't be honest when it comes to their relationship status? Why they have to go in their cave sometimes? Why won't you stop playing video game all the time?